Saint Agatha, patron of Sicily, Bell founders, breast cancer patients, Palermo, rape victims, and web nurses. Saint Agatha, also known as Agatha of Sicily, was born around 231 in either Catania or Palermo, Sicily, to a wealthy and noble family. From her very early years, the notably beautiful Agatha dedicated her life to God and became a consecrated virgin. She chose to remain celibate and give herself wholly to Jesus and the Church in a life of prayer and service. But that did not stop men from desiring her and making unwanted advances toward her. A local Roman prefect, Quintianus, thought he could force her to turn away from her vow and force her to marry because he was of a high diplomatic ranking. His persistent proposals were consistently spurred by Agatha. So, Quintianus, knowing she was a Christian during the persecution of Decius, had her arrested and brought before the judge. Intentionally, he was the judge. He expected her to give in to his demands when she was faced with torture and possible death, but she simply reaffirmed her belief in God by praying, Jesus Christ, Lord of all, you see my heart, you know my desires, possess all that I am, I am your sheep. Make me worthy to overcome the devil. With tears falling from her eyes, she prayed for courage. To force her to change her mind, Quintianus had her imprisoned in a brothel, thinking that she would lose her virginity and then change her mind. However, Agatha never lost her confidence in God even though she suffered a month of assaults to get her to abandon her vow to God. She remained steadfast in her purity and faith in that ungodly environment. Quintianus heard of her calm strength and ordered that she be brought before him once again. During her interrogation, she told him that to be a servant of Jesus Christ was her true freedom. Filled with rage, Quintiana sent her off to prison instead to make her even more afraid. He also ordered her to be tortured. He had her stretched on a rack to be torn with iron hooks, burned with torches, and whipped. Noticing Agatha was enduring all the torture with a sense of cheer, he commanded she be subjected to a worse form of torture, for her breast to be twisted and torn and then be cut off. To this Agatha responded, You cruel, impious, sacrilegious tyrant, do you feel no shame to torture a woman in her breast? You who from a mother's breast drew your first nourishment. You may destroy my body, for it is but weak and perishable. Yet my soul, consecrated from my childhood to its Savior, you cannot reach nor destroy. Quintianus then sent her back to prison with an order of no food or medical attention. But the Lord gave her all the care she needed. He was her sacred physician and protector. Agatha had a vision of the apostle, Saint Peter, who comforted her and healed her wounds through his prayers. 
After four days, Quintianus ignored the miraculous cure of her wounds. He had her stripped naked and rolled over naked over hot coals, which were mixed with sharp shards. The wrath of God, however, flared up, and there was an earthquake that killed Quintianus' companions. When she was returned to prison, Agatha prayed, Lord, my Creator, you have ever protected me from the cradle. You have taken me from the love of the Word and given me patience to suffer. Receive now my soul. Saint Agatha surrendered her spirit to the Lord and died in prison probably in the year 251. Saint Agatha is commonly featured in religious art with shears, tongs, or breasts on a plate. Other than being the patron of breast cancer patients, she is also considered to be a powerful intercessor when people suffer from fires and earthquakes. She is one of the several virgin martyrs who are commemorated by name in the canon of the Mass.